This is the same setting as his real last accessible memory. Usually there's at least some change. Something isn't right. These memories, they feel more than just having happened again. They are exactly the same. That's impossible. The desire was transferred, was it not? It was. Hmm. We go in here. If this isn't you, the same memory, you'd be at the clifftop overlooking the lighthouse. True, 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 true. Okay, let's go. Oh god, this is tense. Oh, he's there, isn't he? There he is. Exact same memory. There's this housekeeper. Johnny? What a pleasant surprise! We don't get many visitors around here. Deja vu again. My name is Dr. Eva Rosalind, and this is... What? I'm not saying it twice. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient, I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? <laughs> Freeze him, too. Hi, Nax, welcome to the stream. How are you doing this evening? I hope you're well. Well? Wait here, I'll go send the desire signal again. See if there are any changes. It transferred successfully, for sure. Any changes? Not even a hair. How could this be? Even if desire doesn't work alone, why is there no change at all? Perhaps... Perhaps it just needs some provoking to activate. From his earlier memories? The earliest we can get to. Let's go. Hmm. I'm glad you're doing fine. It is a great game. It's sad, but it's good. Johnny's decided to go to the moon. Might need some stimulation to be brought up, huh? Well then. Huh. What the? This wasn't what they said was playing. Oh well. Do you mind, River? No, I like this one. All right, let's go then. I realized I was doing the doctor's voice here. I was doing Neil's voice here. Whoops. Hey, John, remember that time you went to the moon? <laughs> exactly, no, exactly. All right, let's go then. Hopefully that's enough for an ignition. Wait, where's Neil? Where is Neil? Neil? <laughs> Did you see to the moon? How was it? Eh, a bit too much pretense for me. I prefer my moves to be a bit more... Oh, je ne sais quoi. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, I guess he's in the theatre. Or in the loo, maybe? He might be in the loo. No, we'll check the theatre. In before his love is so... In for her is so strong, it transfers... It transcends his memories. To the moon, darling. Mm. Oh, Henry! Dear Lord, I'm way too tired and hungry to be constructing movies. <laughs> Guess I should see if anything's changed with John. <laughs> That's pretty hilarious. <laughs> to the moon, darling, darling. To the moon. Sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. Yeah, I am very sorry. Probably gonna make him want to go to the moon less. <laughs> Nope, exactly the same. It's all the same. I'll have to try igniting it somewhere else then. This is ridiculous. L Lily! <laughs> Lily! Lily! Where are you, Lily? For God's sake, Lily, stop disappearing. Perhaps something here could work. So did she throw an encyclopedia in your face, huh, did she? Shut up, dude. What are you guys doing here? It's starting. Let's go get a good spot. Hmm. Wait, I don't remember that happening. 
Something must have changed. Hey, don't squeeze. Hmm, what is this? Wait a minute. This isn't a real change. This is... May I have your attention, please? <laughs> oh my god. As you know, I'm a representative sent from NASA in all its glory. <laughs> And I'm here to tell you all about it. Hit it, Timmy! <laughs> wow, that was terrible. <laughs> but I digress. <laughs> oh, God. Anyways, I know that many of you are wondering... What chances do I have of doing something as awesome as adventuring in another realm? To inhale the sweetness of Venus, to swim counterclockwise through the rings of Saturn, or perhaps just chilling at the backside of the moon? Well, here at NASA, we believe that with enough will, everyone has the potential. It could be you. Or you. Or perhaps... You! But I don't want to go to the moon. <laughs> then you're in luck. Wait, what? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth as it is. Well, don't you want to go there even a little bit? No, why? Not even a tiny bit? Um, no? I'm a government man. Here from the government. The government has sent me exactly an art. Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon. To start off, the moon is 4.5 billion years old. And did you know that its surface is about as big as Africa? It's true. In fact, if you try to bike around the moon... <laughs> also, it takes 1.5247 seconds for light to travel to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. I knew that. And last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous. And we all know that rich plus famous equals groupies. So that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ. Good job, Neil. Good job. That was terrible. That was truly terrible. That was, that was, that was dire. <laughs> well, what did you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was blatant enough for this. Mm, I do try pretty hard. Are you going to see if that worked? Of course. Be right back. Back. Report. Utter failure. Juice. Hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there are still things to be done. Such as... Moon groupies. Moon groupies are the best of all. <laughs> well... can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. You can barely afford to pay for- But can you afford the lunar trip lottery? If you sell this house, you sure can. Oh, God. Is the diagnosis certain? Yes, in fact, we read- Did you know that NASA has excellent healthcare plans? It's true for both you and your spouse. Free pony rides in space! <laughs> oh look, a wedding! Good for you! <laughs> but here's a riddle! Guess where you should go for the honeymoon! <laughs> it's awful. River? Dagnabbit. Glass. Slippery. Johnny! Jo John! What the cucumber? Phew! You know what? This just isn't working. Moon horses! 
It's more than just not working. It's ridiculous. We're freaking, pro we're freaking professionals. I didn't sign up for the job to run around yelling at him like an idiot. You didn't? Look, maybe this lack of sleep is getting to us. Had I known we'd be an all-nighter, I would have brought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What movie? Exactly. Anyway, as valuable as time is here, this just isn't going anywhere like this. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang on till then. I do have some calls to make. <laughs> Erasing your wish is the same as granting it? Yeah, sure not. Sure, it's a... It's a... Exactly that. Whoa, I didn't mean to do that, but I tapped out. God damn it. Hold on a second. I need to do that. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Okay. I'm back. Oh, damn it. I covered up chat. No, that's fine. Hi Rob, welcome to the stream, how are you? It doesn't make sense. Why did the machine have no effect? Johnny's registered wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred, yet there wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless unless a secondary condition for desire for the desire was changed in the process. Only then would the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time. There's no denying that Rima played an important role for Rima. If there's anything that could have caused the core change, she would be the top suspect. But out of all the things, what exactly caused it? Rima. Just what exactly did you do? Rima! Ah, the sun's rising. I thought you were supposed to rest. That's not resting. You're awake, you're awake the whole night. What are you what are you playing at, girl? We don't have much time left. I wonder if Neil came up with anything. Probably not. This is Neil we're talking about here. I love that they kind of wear like gowns as well, like robes. Like they're all ready to go to sleep. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Uh, you can smell that squirrel near right over all the way from here now. Gross. Upstairs. Paper rabbits on the moon. Oh god. Did you catch up with the whole story, Anar, in the, uh... Where is he? Neil. I guess we could check on the doctor and see how he says everything's happening. How is John doing? Barely hanging on. What are you two doing? We just... We just couldn't make any progress. Better be soon. We don't have long. If you're looking for your colleague, I think he's in the kitchen. Wait, is that a woman? Oh, it might be a woman doctor. Oh, oh god. Um. Oh well, she has a very deep voice. It's fine. <laughs> like me. <laughs> it's perfectly fine. Alright, let's go to the kitchen. Oh no, the kitchen's here, isn't it? go. Come on. There he is. Now, I understand that part, but... Okay. Did you confirm it in his records? And why again was this information not made available to us? Or the medical doctor, for that matter? Where did you get that coffee? Shh! Are you speaking with headquarter? Yes! I'll fill you in on it after. Now, shh! Okay, jeans. Wait, isn't this... Why did you find it? In the lighthouse before we started. Now, for the last time, shh. The last paper rabbit River gave to John. I want a coffee. Do I just leave? Guess he's not done yet. All right. Okay. 
literally just come back in here and be like, yo, what's up? Oh, for God's sake. Well, he was on the phone. I can't call him now. His medical file says he's allergic to moon dust. What kind of a song is this? It's just two notes repeated over and over. But there's the main bit as well. There's the uh, the second melody, the harmony. That's the word I'm looking for. Hmm. Yep, all the creepy origami rabbits are still here. Great, just great. Oh yeah, that chest is still locked. Hmm. Oh no, we've already looked at all these boxes. Let's go back upstairs. Where are those kids at? That's what I want to know. Aha. Uh -huh. But Ma, I don't want to go to school. It's Sunday, dear. Shh, let them sleep. <laughs> I just... What did I do? Didn't I do? Oh my god, for the little girl. Oh god, that voice. Oh god, it's... Oh, origami. Uh... Sure. Oh, there's like an origami master? That's pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, yeah, let's not, let's get out of here. Those two shouldn't have stayed up that late, but I should have watched them. Well, it's not everyday circumstances. I know, but I'm just so exhausted. I'm sure you do even more so. I really need to take a seat. Does anyone, is there anything you want to ask? Let me sit down first. Okay, lady, so rude. Okay, there we go. Now can I ask? Oh, was there something you wanted to ask? You know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. With two children and all, I mean. It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. But how did you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. Oh, my husband passed away. <laughs> what happened? He was in the army. They were the last batch to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked. Our savings were low and the job market was grim. Johnny saw my ad and offered me this job. I accepted with gratitude. This place was peaceful too. It helped me with my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows to help them get back on their feet? They do. And eventually I received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place too, so we stayed. As for Johnny, he was glad as well. We're gonna miss him. I think deep down, he really wanted a family. So what are you going to tell them about John? I, I don't know. I'll probably make something up. But it's no use. Kids are smart nowadays. They'll figure it out. Might as well. It's the nature of life. There's nothing to hide. Future. This is your full-time job, isn't it? What will you do when this is over? What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and live on, I suppose. It's a shame, though. I'm gonna miss Johnny in this place. Maybe I'll come back to visit every once in a while. Aww. Yeah, no more questions. I'm good. I'm solid. Let's go back to, uh... Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but he wanted to tell you thanks for him. So, thank you. We haven't even done the thing yet. That's kind of bad. Like, I don't really want any thanks yet, please. Is this dude done on the phone yet? Oh, yes, thank God. Hmm? What is it? It seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. Apparently, during his youth, he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. And what luck, they tend to have this little side effect on a curious thing called memories. Beta blockers. 
Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder if the side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with. And it's such a large amount. Its impact on its memories at the time of administration must have... No, I didn't read that last bit. I skipped too quickly. You think that's what kept us out of his earlier memories? Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. So what now? I was just given the reconfiguration frequencies. That should get us past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer his desire for it to work. And what are we waiting for? But just one thing. Of course, there's always that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A trigger? Something that exists strongly in the bridging inaccessible in the bridging inaccessible memory. And we'll need to give it to John for him to stimulate his memory internally. But what do we know of that? We've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. I mean if we find a childhood photo or something. John's unconscious. Yeah. Back to square one. You know, this job hasn't been such a pain in the ass to me since Nora's case last year. Likewise. This is killing me. Oh, this is killing me. I'm going out to get some fresh air. Okay, dude. Whatever you say, bruh. Ahem. Forgot my coffee. Of course. His priorities are completely, completely justified. Alright. Beta blocker. Let's save quickly. Beat blocker. A drug with the side effect of dampening Mary's by interfering with stress hormones. Okay. Hmm. Oh! It smells! Quit barging in and out of doors. The roadkill, Eva! It smells! I know, it's your fault for running it over. What's going on? The children are still sleeping. Wait a minute. That last memory, the one we were stuck at. It was the same smell. What are you two talking about? The olfactory receptors are directly the the olfactory receptors are directly linked to the brain's limbic system. Like, don't you see what this means? I'm uh, what? He means that smell is arguably the most effective sense for memory recall. We can use it as a stimulant to bridge his childhood memories. And the best part, even though Johnny's unconscious, he's still susceptible. I I, I think I'm missing something vital. Contextual info in this whole thing. All right, this is good. This is awesome. Hi, Halo. Welcome to the stream. Now, we just need to go fetch a piece of roadkill. Yes, I'll just... Wait, why should I fetch it? You're the one who ran over it. Exactly. I've already done my part. Oh, you miserable bastard. <laughs> you miserable bastard. Um, if it helps any, I... I have a pair of gloves you can borrow. 